Ah, glad to see you. I was just wrapping up a few central canon details. Thanks to the data Ilma sent, I've been able to ferret out all manner of technical problems. And it's all thanks to the three of you. My sincerest thanks. That's true. He often understands things in ways I hadn't thought of. He certainly is a fine engineer. How I met Ilma is kind of a funny story. One day, I saw that some anonymous comments had been made on data I'd uploaded to the library. The comments described errors in my work in meticulous detail. Incredulous, I re-examined my data, and sure enough, the commenter was right. Wondering who I was dealing with, I looked up the address. It had come from Caveras. That immediately made me think of one person, of course. But I knew that Lysis, whom I had been in communications with before, had passed away. I contacted the Lodge, and it was Ilma who answered. He told me that his mechanical skills were entirely self-taught. His free-spirited approach to problems was refreshing to me. I've been asking his advice on a variety of problems ever since. Including, of course, Central Canon. He's been working his way through the vast collection of research Lysis left behind. His ingenuity, combined with that logical mind, makes him second to none. I'd better work hard to keep up with him. Well, I suppose I should get back to working on Central Cannon now. I have to make sure it's ready when we need it, right? to get a good feel for what it's like from so far away like this. Oh, good to see you again. Oh, I just came outside for a breath of fresh air. It can get pretty stuffy in the command room after a while. Oh, by the way, I was just organizing the survey reports from the Caveras region. Would you like to hear about them? Great, let's go over them. Currently, Caveras is a frozen region, completely covered in snow. But records show that it once had a more temperate climate, and was lush with vegetation. <sighs> Not unlike the way Aleo is now, I imagine. Back then, it was home to many people, and it was even more flourishing than Aelio or Ratem is today. But then there was the Dark Falls attack, and Caveras became almost uninhabited overnight. Well, overnight might be a slight exaggeration, but there's no doubt the environment there changed drastically in a very short amount of time. The data on that period is missing from the records. So, the reason remains a mystery. Although they managed to defeat Dark Falls, the people of Caveras were still forced to relocate. Many of them fled to Aelio and began building this central city. And they say some of them went to the Ratem region too. Caveras had been all but uninhabited ever since. The advanced team this time is part of the largest extended operation in the region so far. For such a long time, defending their own regions was all Aelio and Ratem could do. But now that we have your help, we've finally been able to make inroads into Caveras. We really appreciate all that you're doing for us. I'm sure the advanced team knows much more than I do about the latest conditions in Caveras. Ask them anything. If I weren't so busy with my operator work, I would have liked to try out for the advanced team myself. I'd love to hear about what it's like there when you get back if you have time. I'll be waiting. 
Take that! Are they there? Oh, just in time. I'm thinking about putting together a rapport on the steer region. See it? It's right over there. Would you mind if I run some of it by you first? All right. <laughs> Here goes, then. It's a colossal volcanic island located on the other side of Halfia Lake. We have an advanced team exploring it now, <laughs> just like Caveras. Although it's been several years since they first started out, they still haven't been able to make much progress. There are three things in their way. First of all, the interior terrain is really rough. Second, many incredibly powerful dolls have been detected in the area. And third, communications between the advance team and Central City are not going well. The interior of Stia is like a multi-story structure, and the team has seen energy plants in there. They think that doll's production may be going on somewhere in there. Well... We're waiting on a report from the advance team for more details, but communication is slow. The team wants to recon the doll's production site, and even destroy it if at all possible. But Crawford won't authorize the advance team to do that yet. He's saying he thinks it's still too soon. We do need to strengthen the defenses of each region, but we also can't just leave those dolls in Stia to wreak havoc. Both arguments seem equally valid, but we just haven't had the numbers to manage both at the same time. The team in Stia keeps insisting something truly nefarious is going on, but they've been unable to act on it. Those restraints may be released fairly soon. We've been building up cooperation with Retemarks and finally managed to make inroads in Caveras. The repair of Central Cannon is coming along at a rapid pace, too. And it's all thanks to your help. We have no choice but to start putting more resources into the situation in Stia now. I imagine we'll have difficult battles ahead of us, so we'd better be well prepared. We want to do all we can to help, in whatever way we can. Well, I'll let you know if there are any new developments. <laughs>